left in the tank is a business to entertain bored felines. Hello, I'm Andre. I'm from Fort Lee, New Jersey, and I'm seeking $200,000 for 10% of my company, Cat Amazing. Now, imagine for a moment, you're not sharks, but cats. <laughs> Modern house cats, in fact. Your life is awesome. You're safe indoors. There's climate control, a couch <laughs> to scratch, food, loving on demand. Fantastic. Problem is, you're bored out of your ever-loving mind. <laughs> you evolved to hunt clever prey. Not lounge all day with a food bowl, but it's impossible to hunt indoors. Until now, introducing Cat Amazing, a line of interactive puzzle feeders that brings the thrill of the hunt to indoor cats. <laughs> Treats go in, and the hunter comes out. Cat Amazing puzzles activate their natural instincts to explore, scratch, sniff, and retrieve hidden rewards, engaging their paws and their brains for hours. These are the only puzzles designed to be a match for a cat's intelligence and dexterity, and veterinarians love them because they slow down eating for better digestive health and weight control. The three different sizes, the classic, the sliders, the mega, <laughs> increase in difficulty. So your kitty's always being challenged. And every sale helps us donate toys to shelter cats awaiting adoption. So, what do you think? Can cats and sharks get along? So right now, you guys can get the full feline experience, right? I actually put some treats inside there, oh, so you guys are gonna be cats. Oh my gosh. But, 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 no cheating. Put away the opposable thumbs. Put away, uh, the, put away the opposable uh, thumbs. Put away my thumb. Uh huh. We can get it the fastest. Let's go. I got mine. Oh, you but got I am one. a cat you lover. Got, yeah, I am you, one with the cat. You got the panther inside. Mm -hmm. What made you decide to start this? So I originally came to America when I was eight years old. Um, I didn't know anyone, I didn't know the language, um, and when we got here, I moved around constantly. Where'd, Where'd you come, come from? from? I came from Russia. And so um, that was a recipe for not making friends very easily. Um, so what actually ended up happening is that my closest friendships, my, my deepest friendships, ended up being with our household pets. Um, now fast forward 15 years, uh, my wife and I are moving into our first apartment together. Um, and what's the first thing we do? We adopt a cat, Mookie. Problem was keeping Mookie uh, active and engaged in our studio that we lived in, which was basically the size of like a litter box. Um, so it was actually Mookie that came up with this product. He started taking a little red ball and putting it inside of a folding book stand that kind of was sitting on the floor and getting it out. Um, and when I saw him do that, I grabbed a box that was sitting around, grabbed a box cutter, and I started making little mazes for him. Um, he kept getting the balls out, kept making more mazes. And as we built, 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 um, I realized, you know what we can do? We can build this into a business. Um, and that's how Cat Amazing was born. So does Mookie get a royalty? <laughs> um, I, I, I wish he did. Um, Mookie was diagnosed with kidney cancer. Oh, um, oh, I'm sorry. And he didn't get to live to see the launch, but he lives on in all of this. He lives on here, he's here. Andre, tell us the sales journey. Yeah, so yeah, so the sales journey, so basically from 2011 to uh, 2017, it was pretty much like a hobby project. Um, it was selling about like 20,000 a year. So in 2017, I finally broke out of my sort of first generation immigrant mentality of, you know, get a job, hunker down, get the paycheck, be grateful. Um, then I heard that sort of second uh, generation voice calling that, you know, my parents didn't bring me here um, to not seize opportunities. I quit my six figure job yeah, wow. to go work on this. Um, I bring in uh, a whopping $34,000. Everyone close to me um, was very concerned as to what I was doing with my life. <laughs> so we kept hustling. Um, 2018 was uh, north of 300,000 in sales. Wow. Oh. Yeah. So we 10 x in okay. one year. Okay. 420,000 the following year, 550,000 the year after that what? was last year. Um, yeah, there's year a lot of cat lovers. 720 with 480. Lucy comes through. So what does it cost to make it? Uh, and what are you selling at? Um, so landed, um, they range between four to $9. They sell for $16 for the smaller one, $23, and then the third one's gonna be launching in the $30 range. Where do you sell this? So most of my sales come from Amazon. I actually deliberately drove people to Amazon because of Amazon's ranking. So I wanted people to actually buy on Amazon so it grows up in the category and it gets more visibility. And do you have profits today? Oh, yeah, the business is profitable. So I make, there are costs in between. So um, I, I cover all the shipping for the customers. Okay. So the margin, so the profit margin at the end is about 20%. It's about That's 20%. It. It's about 20% like all in. So that, why 20% though? So I'm That's just so curious. Um, I, I keep my profit margins low on purpose. 
Um, to be honest, I mean, this is a product um, that's close to my heart. It's a cat enrichment product. I mean, it brings happiness to people. Um, so it would really break my heart if somebody but wanted to buy costs, this but right? couldn't afford it. But Andre, you see a problem there, don't you? Because, you know, we want to be one with the cat and, you know, give cats all the exercise they need. But if you're going to take in an investor, they're going to want you to at least not necessarily maximize profits, but at least optimize profits. Yeah, get a bit more, more buffer yeah, in there. Yeah, if we're going to give you all that money, we need to get a return back on that. How are you going to support that? Um, so with volume. Yeah, look, Andre, you know, your motivation is great and honorable, but it's not motivation to take in an investor. I don't agree with that. Uh, we'll make it up in volume approach. So for those reasons, I'm out. I appreciate that. Thank you. You're welcome, Andre. So the primary reason that I'm here is actually not the money. It's the partner. Um, it's the partner who gets the brand, who understands what I'm trying to do here with this, um, and who's willing to guide and take it to the next level. Um, so I'm very much open to guidance and advice as to how to increase that margin and to make that investment worthwhile for you. You know, you know Andre, I love cats. I love cats. He so does I'm, not. I'm going to make you an offer in, in honoring Mookie's short life, but inspirational one. I'll do it for $2 a unit until I get back my 200000 Then it drops to $1 in perpetuity. I don't want any equity. The reason that works for you, I'll just point out uh, Wicked Good Cupcakes we just sold to Hickory Farms. I never had equity, but we were so incentivized to make the sales grow because I was getting a royalty off every jar that we turned it into the number one brand cupcake gift in, in America. So it became huge and it was all social media telling the story. There's millions of cat lovers. You're not getting to them right now. I can help you do that. That's my offer. Thank you very much. So, yeah, Andre, the... Andre, everybody knows I'm the pet lover up here. I love animals. I think where you need some guidance is what price to sell that, how to sell it. But I think Kevin made you a good offer. I'll make you the same offer. I'll give you the $200,000, $2 a unit, and then once I get my money back, a dollar a unit from there on. Mm -hmm. I have a question. Why haven't you gone to retail? I'm on the Petco Foundation, I'm on the board. And uh, I like the retail aspect. So that, that, that's a great question. Uh, I actually tried to get into retail. Um, I went to smaller stores. Um, it was a tough nut for me to crack. That's one of the reasons I'm really hoping for a partner who can open those doors. All right. I'll, I'll give you 200,000 for 25%. That's not horrible. Lori, what are you doing? Do you want to make an offer? So, so before you make your offer, let me, let me just let me just say one one Ooh, more one don't thing. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't, don't, do that. don't ever stop yeah. somebody from making what an offer. What are you offer. doing? What? I, I want to just level with you on guys on one other thing. Uh oh. Okay. okay. Um, and I was really hoping that um, one of you guys would just take my initial offer and I wouldn't have to go here. But um, that's right. I've, I've never said this to a soul, and now national television, of course. When Mookie died. Um, I buried him with a note, um, and the note made a promise. And the promise was that one day, um, I would commit all of Cat Amazing to helping shelter cats. Um, now, I understand completely that promise binds only me and my share of the business. And I certainly understand that giving away a part of something big is better than giving away part of something small. Yep. Um, I get all that. Um, but when you're talking about um, a royalty in perpetuity or 25%, um, it starts to feel like I'm going back on a promise to a friend. Let me, you said 25%, right? Yeah. Can I make you a, a slightly weird counter offer and just consider it? It's your, it's your company. I would be willing to part with 20% of the business, 10% to you, and 10% we commit to going towards shelter cats in whatever way we can. What would you say to you're, that? You're coming in with me, you're offering me, you, you're offering me exactly what you came in here with. Clever! What are you talking about? <laughs> well, I'm still, I'm, giving, I'm still giving up. You're giving away my 10%. Yep. Yeah. Well, I'd be willing to give up 15%. You what? 20, so a total of 25 I'd give up. I'd give up, so 10 to you, 15 to the shelter cats. I just want you to know that. Wait, 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 First of all, first of all, first of all, let's not compare history of helping animals. I'm on a board of Petco to save animals. So don't make this end up looking like I'm the cruel one no, here. No, 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 no. So why don't we do this? I'll give you the $200,000. I'll give you that for 25%. 5% of my portion goes towards this cause. And you match that with 5% of your portion. Wait a minute. I'm going to make you an offer. I'll give you the 200000 for 22%. That's it, no royalty, just straight equity. Wow. I'm 
would you be willing to do what Damon just said, to give 5% of yours and I give 5% of mine, and we commit that to helping shelter cats in whatever way we can. So we, we give 10% to the shelters together. I'll do that, yeah. I'll do that, yeah. I'll do that, yeah. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Congratulations. I like that you like cats. Oh, Figured so out much. something really good for them. Thank it's you. good. Thank you, guys. Thank you, everyone. I really appreciate it. Thank you. So I just got to deal with the shark that I was here to get. I'm going to deal with Lori, and I'm fulfilling a promise to a friend. I gave up a little more equity, but I think it was worth it to fulfill a promise to Mookie. First into the tank is a couple with an innovation in pet products. introduce ourselves. I'm Tara. And I'm Jason. We're the founders of PDX Pet Design. And today, we're asking for $300,000 for 15% of our company. Now, Jason and I are of the generation that grew up online and with computers, so naturally, we met online. We eventually got married, and you know what happens next. We adopted more cats. <laughs> <laughs> the problem with cat toys today, it's this. They're cute, they're colorful, but when you take them home, your cats play with them for about five minutes. These guys are basically throwaway. Imagine instead, you could walk into a pet shop and there'd be an entire aisle dedicated to the wellness of your cat with products that enhance your kitty's lifestyle and really help you improve your relationship with your cat. Well, that's what we are doing at PDX Pet Design. For our first product, we created Shrew, the intelligent cat companion. As you can see in the video, Shrew entertains your cat while you're out for the day. Now, we designed Shrew to mimic a small animal's motion so it ignites the hunting instinct of your little tiger. It's basically going to be your cat's new BFF. For our next product, we looked at the fact that cats groom each other as a form of social bonding. There's also evidence to suggest that your cat thinks you're a big cat, not a human. So why should you be left out of their intimate bonding ritual? Well, with Licky Brush, you don't have to be left out anymore. Licky Brush is a tongue-shaped brush you can use to finally lick your cat, just like a mama cat licks her young. No, you're not gonna stick that in your mouth, are you? Yeah. Oh. 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 <laughs> Somebody yeah. hand you, you, you oh. need to drop a mic right about now. Oh. <laughs> We're gonna give each of you guys a cat and a licky brush and a shrew so you can test it out. Oh no, you're not. Oh yes, we are. I want a cat. What's the name of the cat? Chestnut. Chestnut is now oh, psychologically disturbed. <laughs> <laughs> Robert, if you could take a cat. Jason, what happened, man? <laughs> what happened to you, man? This has been a viral hit. And I bet it has. <laughs> I'll try it with the real cat. Hi, baby. So you just put it in your mouth, and you want to lick her with the grain, right? You don't want to go against the grain. As <laughs> any pet owner knows. Oh, my god. Yes, yeah, so you just hold her nice and tight. And there you go. <laughs> Nicely done. Oh, my god. I I hate myself so much right now. People use it and they say, this is a wonderful bonding experience with their animal. <laughs> but like, what's the difference if you were to put this in your mouth and lick the cat, or if you were just to yeah, like, I'm brush just brushing the cat? Her like, she likes the that. Well, then, then it's just a brush. <laughs> okay, guys, I want to take it seriously because you asked for $300,000 before I saw you lick a cat with well, it. Well, we don't know what their sales are. How many did you sell? To date, we have sold about $250,000 worth of shrew and about $52,000 worth of liquid brush. We have five other designs in the pipeline right now, and we think they're going to be equally viral. We know how to talk to people on the internet about cats. What did you guys do before Lickety Split? Well, I'm an electrical engineer by trade. Which makes perfect sense. Jason's created Shrew and Licky Brush himself. We have not outsourced any of the contracting, the engineering. We do everything. And I work on the business management side of it. I actually went to the University of Waterloo, Mr. Wonderful. You did? Uh, yeah. And then I went on to uh, explore a PhD in neuroscience. Are you a Canadian? 
Sure am. She's okay. targeting you. She <laughs> thinks you might be a cat. I'm going to make sure they throw you out of the country. <laughs> <laughs> Did we ever ask you how much it sells for? No, you haven't. Okay. The MSRP today is $119. $119? Oh. It has a, a lot of. Inside. Are you kidding? There's a lot it's of technology inside here. What's the Licky Brush sell for? Pre-order is nineteen dollars. MSRP is going to be twenty-five. That's more like That's it. cool. Guys, can you just give me for this year combined what total sales will be in your forecast between the liquor and the egg? Uh, our projected sales for this year are one hundred and eighty thousand dollars. So what would make you think that you could price this business at over two million in valuation? We're really focused on future revenues. So, <laughs> <laughs> so we can give you the money five years from now. And you can, but I'm gonna be looking for a lot more because I know we're gonna double our revenue next year and the year after and the year I've after. I've never heard anybody say, I promise we're gonna fail. This is so crazy. I mean, it's just. Well, you guys know as soon as this episode airs, we're gonna, it's, this, this episode's gonna go viral. I want to explain to you something really important. Everybody says, I want to go viral. I'm going to go viral. You said we did. You, we went, did. you said you went viral. We had, we had like 20 million But views. your sales from that was $250,000 on the one and 52 on the other. For going viral, I think it should be higher. I'm out. Thank you, Lori. I appreciate that. I, I have to tell you, sales aren't there. I'm sorry, I'm out. Thank you, Robert. Listen, I wish you wouldn't have asked so much so soon. I mean, you only really have a little proof of concept. I don't, I don't know how I get around that number. Everybody has the same problem. You ask for too much. I'm just thinking, I go back to my office, meet my team, say I gave them 300 grand, and I stick this in my mouth, and they look at me and say, I'm getting a job somewhere else now. <laughs> well, that's I mean, just it, one product, it just, though. It's impossible to get back to 300 grand. Guys, guys, I'll simplify. Look, you've had fun with it. Obviously, you've owned it, so it's become more than just a business, right? It's part of your personality, looking for, for a big break. You didn't price this asking for a big break. If you guys had come in and said, you know what, believe in us, 50 grand for 20% of the company, we all grow together. Yeah, I think we'd all be in it. Then yeah. somebody could take a flyer. Yeah. But 300K, that's too much, and for those reasons, I'm out. Thank you, Mark. You know, it just reminds me of an old story. A cop, an old school Irish cop, he's walking down the block, a woman runs up to him, oh my God, my cat's in the tree. He looked up in the tree and he said, lady, you see any cat skeletons hanging around up in the tree? <laughs> Sooner or later, the cat's gonna come down, they'll have to work it out. We can't help you with that valuation. You're gonna have to work it out by yourself. I'm out. Thank you, Damon. Thank you, Damon. So, Mr. Wonderful, we haven't heard from you. I, I tell you, I'm worried about my, my daughter, my son would look at me saying, what happened to you, Dad? What, what, why did you do well, that? Well, we made you a lot of money. You're not worth 300K now. It's just too much money for this. I'm out. Guys, I just want to say how luck. happy I am that you met each other. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin, so much. We yeah, wish you good you. luck. Of course, we're disappointed. Everyone wants to get a deal. But we also, we have backup plans. We have cunning POs. We are going to build this company. And so this isn't the end for us. That was crazy. Why do I do Shark Tank? Because you never know when someone's gonna lick a cat. <laughs> Next up is a way for people with common interests to find each other. Aww. Hi, Sharks. I'm Nathan. And I'm Sterling. And I'm Lee from New Orleans, Louisiana. We're seeking $300,000 for 20% equity in our company, Tabby. Sharks, you may not believe it, but these handsome men have been ripped to shreds on general dating apps, all because of something they love. Pussy. Pussy. Cats. <laughs> Here are real messages these successful, passionate guys have gotten on general dating apps. My friend says you have four cats. That's four red flags. Ugh, do you sleep with that thing? Would you be willing to give up your cats for me? <laughs> Studies show that men who have cats in their profile photos perform worse and get fewer matches on general dating apps. No. That's why we created Tabby, the cat person's dating app. All right, boys, go be yourselves. Tabby is a safe space. Tabby is a familiar dating app. You swipe left or you swipe right on people, but it also has a specific area asking you about your cats. Like how much do you spend on your cat a month or does he or she sleep in the bed with you every night? Of course she does. All my cats do. <laughs> Tabby also provides a community space for everyone on the app. 
the cat tree, where you can share your favorite cat-friendly cafe or suggest date ideas. <laughs> like volunteering at Sterling's nonprofit or curling up with me and my four kitties and a nice bottle of wine. So sharks, say goodbye to these local adoptable kittens for now. The Aww. boys will be right back. Aww. And join us as we help people determine who they want to spend the rest of their nine lives with <laughs> based on their uh. love for cats with Tabby. Lee, it seems crazy to me. How did you come up with this idea? Well, actually, I started a different dating app a few years ago. I first started Dig, the dog person's dating app. After growing that with my sister for a few years, we are now in acquisition conversations with a dog food company. Wow. Over wow. those few years, we heard from a lot of cat people. One of the things we learned was that there aren't places like dog parks for cat people to go out and meet each other. <laughs> and That's there's true. this stigma around cat people. That's terrible. Are the rest of you guys doing dig also? Uh, no, we're strictly here on Tabby. Uh, both of us actually work as social media influencers. I work as Nathan the cat lady, as you can see by the cutout behind me. <laughs> <laughs> and then I met Sterling at one of the cat conventions, and we kind of hit it off. I go by Sterling Trap King Davis. Trap King named after my cat rescue nonprofit. I am one of one. Cat rescue is usually something done by middle-aged white women. I am the only black man that you will see that sold everything and lives out of his vehicle and rescue cats. Good, Good for, you. for you. How many cat owners are there in the first place? Great question. 17 million single cat owners in the US. A lot of people don't know how many cat people are actually out there because most of us are ashamed to come out with it. I am a cat lover. I do not understand why there is cat shame at all. Why is there <laughs> cat shame? I, I have no idea. Because it's not cool, Lori. Oh, that is so You're not, not right. Your cat Cats down the are street. so okay. cool. Okay. There Can is you no some animal statistics? cooler than when a lion. When did you get started? How many people are using the app? What have you learned so far? So last summer, we had the opportunity to launch Tabby because we won the million dollar dating project. What is that? It is a grant from a dating platform company and they gave us $50,000 in equity free grant money to be able to market the platform. And we could use their platform, put our branding on it, then market from there. We launched on International Cat Day on this pre-made platform. Of course you did. <laughs> when we launched, uh, there were a massive amount of problems on the platform. Oh, good. Good. I yes. hate when that happens. <laughs> yes. When we first launched, that platform had all of the development made. We brought our branding. They built something that was built to the web and wasn't exactly made for mobile. And it's, uh, it, you know, we, we went into okay, it. Okay, you gave us the excuses. Now get to the numbers. Okay, sure. We had 31,000 users on the app. We made $43,000 in revenue. 17,000 of that was from subscriptions and 25,000 of that was from our first integration partner. And then since then, we've not been marketing as we've been building out the next version of Tabby. And are you still on their platform? What I wanted to do was come to you guys today and tell you we want to switch to a new platform. That urgency increased entirely in the past few days when they terminated our contract early. Oh, oh good. Ooh. It is hitting the it just gets better. Wow. Since then, because of all the issues especially, we went out and we sourced the best team. We built an entirely new app with our new development okay, team. Okay, well that's great. So, but when are you ready to release? It's already under review by Apple right now, so it Got should it. be so you're ready whenever to they're done out. in the next two weeks. Is it a monthly subscription? Yes, it's $19.99 a month and oh, it goes that's down to $19.99. Well, is yes. that expensive or not? In the dating industry right now, that's not no, but, extraordinarily expensive. But for a startup, it's expensive. It's pretty average for regular um, premium subscriptions. How much money have you raised to this point? For Tabby, we've raised no money other than the equity grant. See, to me, that's the problem, right? Because you had to funnel everything and do everything on this other platform for $50,000. That's impossible. And now here you are scrambling. As Nirav will tell you, and all of us will tell you, growing an app is difficult, competitive, and really expensive unless you just find a unique niche, you know, and maybe you guys can make it take off virally, but it's really, really hard. And so for those reasons, I'm out. Look, I wish you all the best. Thank Anytime you. you can connect people and animals and create more love in the world, it's, Good. it's a wonderful thing, but it's not for me. I'm out. What we have right now is the car, the keys, the map, the drivers. We need the rocket fuel to no be gas. able to take off, right? You got no gas and you got no money for gas. We would love some money for gas. <laughs> <laughs> we, we all love the passion. 
But I will tell you from starting next door and growing it to over 50 million registered users, it's very, very difficult to get distribution. You need to find a way to break through the noise of all those existing dating apps and make a name for yourself. But I think you probably have a long way to go to really build a breakthrough tech app. And for those reasons, I'm out. Let, let me take a stab at it this way. I invested in a deal called Base Pause at a two million valuation. We're raising 10 million at a 40 million valuation now, and she has built a huge database of cat owners. We may have the largest cat database in America, and I have become a cat lover because it has cash flow. I love cash flow. Cat flow. Cat flow. So here's an offer for you, and this is the way I'm thinking of structure. Wow, did not see this coming. I'm gonna offer you $300,000 for 30%, okay? It may be better if you had maybe America's biggest cat database on your side. That's my offer. <laughs> what does That's that mean? That's a good mean? offer, guys. Uh, You're starting from scratch here. That's a great offer. That is a great offer. Would you consider doing 25% and meeting us in the middle? No, is my answer. The problem for me is I'm not really a tech app, app expert. You know, that's not really my background or my thing. I don't have as much to offer. I hate saying this because Kevin does have that company, Base Paws, where I think could be helpful to you. And so, because I want to do the best for cats that I possibly can, <laughs> I will step aside for the cat hater, but who can be the cat helper. What a lot of you. noise. I'm out. Thank you, Lori. Kevin's giving you cash plus distribution because a partnership with his company will give you traffic. And that's the only thing you need when you start this company. You have everything else. Kevin, it sounds like a perfect deal, and we'd love to take it and work ah. with you. Yeah, there you go. Yeah! Yay! Wow! <laughs> <laughs> That's absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much. Let's have much. some fun with this. Thank you. It's great. Nice meeting you guys, too. A lot of social work to do here. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That's what I'm talking longer. about, baby! Oh, Let's go! Let's this go! This is wonderful. Kevin, I think you're really going to help her. What I see is you promoting the app with a picture of you with a hairless cat. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to understand something. I am building a cat empire. Yes. <laughs> I'm the king of the litter. <laughs>